Hi guys, welcome back to Junior's Vlog and Reaction. For this video re reaction, let's go to our favorite country which is Russia. Privet and spasiba to our Russian friends. How are you all guys? I hope you're doing well and amazing. And this is a video request reaction requested by Royal Passion Bearers. Thank you so much Royal Passion Bearers for suggesting with this amazing and beautiful video entitled Russian Special Forces University Original Video uploaded on 31 of October in 2000. 19 and credit to the owner also with the video of course the the one who suggested with this video royal passion bears i'll put on the description box below so that you can connect also with his channel because he just started and if you're new to my channel just click on the subscribe button click on notification bell so that you'll be updated on our future uploads and if you have some comments and suggestions related to this video or any russian videos russian artists that you can suggest drop it in the comment section i'd love to read and respond to you all and make your video request so let's get to it yes i'm so excited with this one goodness gracious thank you so much real passion bears for suggesting with this amazing and incredible video wow thank you so much for this Outfront. The Russian Special Forces University is the Please first turn on the CC only down there, private guys. Russian company intended your to provide English professional training and, and development of task forces. The university was created on August 1st, 2013 as oh. the International Training Center for Special Forces. Wow. Under the patronage of the head of the Republic of Chechnya, Ramzan Kadyrov. In August oh, wow, 2017, really? the center was renamed as the Russian Special Forces mm -hmm. University. The university is being developed thanks to private investments on the territory of over 450 hectares in the city of Gudermas. It encompasses a multifunctional complex of more than 95 buildings and facilities. A tactics town with buildings and structures characteristic of urban and rural landscape allows for the practice of combat, hostage release operations, or any other scenarios in close to real conditions. Wow. Included in the complex is a rock climbing wall and an area for practicing anti-terror operations on all kinds of transport with scaled models of the assault objects, That's amazing. airplane, train, bus, and other vehicles. The university's training grounds set conditions for conducting airborne, mountain, forest, water, and other types of training. The university has one of the world's biggest covered shooting ranges, about 35 hectares. The main building area is 55,000 square meters. The created oh infrastructure allows for about 500 people to live and train in the center. About 1,000 people can use training facilities simultaneously. An additional mountain training ground was created in the village of Chiski for the training of climbers. Another mountain training ground is being created near the village of Nasha. It is expected that the university will reach full working capacity at the end of 2019. The university leadership says that its main task is to transfer the anti-terrorist experience accumulated in the Chechen Republic to special units and units of various special services of Russia. The university is also open to work with foreigners. According to wow. experts, the main partners may be the countries of the Arab world and Latin America, as well as member states of the Commonwealth of yeah. Independent States. Negotiations are underway with representatives of Belarus, Kazakhstan, and China. Oh, Deputy head country. of the National Guard of Russia in the Chechen Republic, Daniel Martinov, curates the Russian Special Forces University. He also leads the instructor team. According to him, the university has 45 instructors in various fields and has plans to increase staff. Martinov says that the instructor team possesses unique experience in preparing and conducting special operations. Wow. All trainers are special forces officers with many having extensive combat experience. Before starting their work, instructors complete additional training under a special program developed by the this university together with the russian state university of physical culture and sports in moscow in accordance with russian law officers and government employees do have the right to engage in scientific and teaching activities That's the university's good. training programs cover such Fire areas as firearms training airborne, tactical and special mountain, airborne diving. mountain 
diving, security and military medical training, dog training, auto training, engineering, IT training, and courses for war correspondents. Wow. The university also provides for the training of security guards of senior officials and employees of security companies, including general physical training, guarded person tactics, escorting, including automobile, medical first aid, preventive safety measures, counter sniping, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and special training. Education and training of both civilian and Russian military personnel takes place on a paid contract basis. A separate so direction of work is tactical and special training woman. in Arctic conditions. In April 2016, a team comprised of members from the Russian National Guard Troops Flying Squad, who were trained at a special program developed by the university's instructors with the support from the Russian Geographic Society, conducted tactical and special exercises in the Arctic. The group, together oh with instructors, landed three times at the North Pole and practiced various special training techniques in the Arctic for three weeks. For example, as wow. part of the exercises, a group of 20 people arriving via an IL-76 carried out an 8-kilometer march with full combat gear. The group detected and destroyed the command post of a conditional enemy. The expedition was headed by Daniel Martinov. Another wow. widely covered tactical training exercise in the really Arctic took place in April 2018. The Arctic group included members of the instructor group of the Russian University of Special Forces, the Flying Squad, the Special Rapid Reaction Unit of the Russian Guard in the Chechen Republic, Terek, the Special Rapid Reaction Unit, Lynx, and the Special Operations Center, Lychaz. The first stage of the exercises was held at the nuclear icebreaker Soviet Union in Murmansk. The second phase took place on the Alexandra Islands, a group of five islands in the Franz Josef Land archipelago. This is really interesting. It's like I really want to be part of this Apparently, university. Apparently, training of the students of this private educational institution served as a nutritious broth for the burning exposures of the special Correct. operations of the Russian special forces Correct. conducting reconnaissance against key objects and critical infrastructure in Norwegia's Svalbard, at least as it was portrayed in a release by Western media. Wow. Proponents of these revelations went so far as to carry out an open source investigation on Instagram and found alleged university students taking cunning pictures at Svalbard Airport. Oh. They tried to convince the audience that a Russian task force had secretly crossed the border landed in Svalbard, carried no, no. out the planned special operations, and among other things, made a couple photos for Instagram, and then the whole group secretly flew to Russia from the local airport, magically passing through passport control on the border. During the six years of its existence, the Russian Special Forces University has become the most famous and professional Correct. public training center for task forces and the private world. military and security contractors around the world. Yeah, I the agree. active and successful participation of Russia-linked private military contractors in conflicts in the Middle East and How Africa has once again raised in Russia the question of the possibility of legislative permission to create private military companies within the jurisdiction of Russia. Right. If the creation of such companies is legally permitted, the role of the Russian Special Forces University in the training and retraining of employees of such companies will increase even more. Oh, in wow. addition to the formally declared patriotic goals, the creation of the Russian Special Forces University has a purely practical dimension. In the event of further successes, the university will become a significant source of income for elite groups associated with the head of Chechnya, Ramsan Katarov, and will become a factor in the further growth of the influence of the Katarov group in the North Caucasus really region and in Russia as a whole. The university actively attracts the best specialists to the positions of instructors or highly paid consultants. The best young active service members of law enforcement agencies and task forces undergo extra training in various programs there. Nice. It is important to note that the Russian army is a warring army, 
Over the past decades, Russian forces have participated in numerous anti-terrorist operations and peacekeeping operations, such as with the deployment of paratroopers in Kosovo. In 2008, Russia conducted a successful peace enforcing operation in response to the aggression of the Saakashvili regime in South Ossetia. Another successful operation was performed in Crimea in 2014. The Russian operation in Syria, which started in 2015, turned the tide of the conflict. The only other major power which constantly and even more intensively uses its military forces is the United States. However, there is a noticeable difference between the Russian and American approaches. The U.S. armed forces make a significant bet on technology and gaining a technological advantage over the enemy. The Russian side relies on training and high qualifications of its personnel, soldiers, uh, and officers. That would be the difference. Thus, it turns out that the most Russian. trained warriors in the modern world Russia. are Russians. I really love this line at the last. The most like will train are the Russians. And this is amazing and incredible video. Oh my god, thank you so much once again. Royal Passion Barriers for suggesting with this beautiful video. It's like so interesting that I really want to enroll in that university. And sometimes if your university, if your country is so strong and very well known and somebody will pull it down and making some bad news about it. Oh my God, this is incredible. I seeing with those university for their special forces. Of course, they are trained. Imagine that they will be sending special forces to train in the Arctic. How cool is that? Who wants to be trained on the special forces of this Russian? Fantastic. I enjoyed it so much, guys. I learned something about it because this is how the Russian give a special training of this wonderful like soldiers. Crazy, incredible. I love it. I enjoyed it so much. I hope guys, you enjoyed watching with this one. I know that you guys you really want to be enrolled in that one and experience those things and be part of the soldiers or to the special forces. He went there not just for fun or whatever it is. He's just thinking and they have their goal also just to protect for the people of Russia, to protect with the country itself. And this is just an open university also, not just with the Russian like soldiers. Other countries can enroll, I think, maybe in this university because one of the famous and the best university of special forces, Russia. My God, goodness gracious. I enjoyed it so much. I hope guys you enjoyed watching with this one and if you do and if you really want to see the full video and connect with the owner of the video I'll put in the description box below. If you like this video guys same as I did just give a massive thumbs up. Like and share and subscribe also with my channel. This is Junis Blagada Green Action Istanbul so fast guys. If you want to connect my social media account is in here. If you want to connect my second channel it's in the description box below. Thank you so much for that and spasiba to our Russian friends. Have a good day everyone. Bye bye and mabuhay po tayong lahat. God bless po.